All right, everyone, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to add a blog to your website. A uh, blog is uh, a great way to um, to search engine optimize your website. A uh, well-written blog with uh, articles that are appropriate to the theme of your website uh, that have good, solid information can have a great effect on not only search engine optimization, but it can build trust for you with your website. Uh, it can make it look like you know what you're talking about and that you are uh, an authority on, on your subject matter. It can also help you get email uh, signups to your newsletter, which of course can help you market to your potential customers and to make more sales. So having a, a good blog is a very, very important part of building a good website. So we're going to learn how to add a blog. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Pages, and we are going to click Add, because we are adding a new page, and what we want to add is a blog page. All right, and I'm just going to call this, um, yeah, we'll just call it blog. We don't really need to put a name on it at this point. So it's going to be our blog page. We can have it, again, with any layout that we want. Typical blog page is going to be very simple. So we're going to do the, uh, we'll do no header in this case. Again, you can experiment with this to see what you like and what you don't like. And then we're going to click Save and Edit. Okay, and now we have a blog added to our page. You will notice here that we have blog up here in the menu. And that is because when we added the page, we did not check the button to hide our new page from the navigation. And of course, you don't want to. You want that page to be visible. So now that we're on the blog page, what we can do is we can choose our blog settings. So we're going to go down here to settings. So we get to choose how many posts will appear on each page. We're going to leave that at 10. Do we want share buttons? So this will allow people to share our posts. We can customize that. People can share our our posts to Facebook and Twitter, you want those options because the more people share your blog posts, the more people are going to view them, the more people that are going to come to your website, and on and on and on. So do we want a sidebar to our blog? If we, um, if we have that on, uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. I'll just save these settings for now. And so now our settings have been updated. So if we go to, um, let's go back to our pages. Let's go to our blog page. So this is what the sidebar is, okay? You can have a little blurb about yourself here, archives of your posts, categories, uh, and so on and so forth. And the RSS feed if people want to subscribe to your blog. So that is obviously, uh, that's what it looks like with the with the sidebar on. So I'm going to turn the sidebar off. Okay, I'm going to save that. I am going to go back to pages and click save and edit. And now the sidebar is off. So it's up to you whether you want the sidebar on or off. Okay, now when you want to write a new blog post, what we will do is we will click new post. And now you're just going to write your post title, uh, How to Avoid Computer Viruses, let's say is our post, viruses, or is it viri, I'm not sure. Uh, so now building the blog post is just like building a regular page, you just add elements. So we have our title here. We can drop text right there. And now we can type our post. This is where my post will appear. All right, and again, you can add a, an image, you can add whatever you, just like building a regular page, okay? So what we're gonna do is, let's say we're finished, we can save a draft of our post if we want. If, we, if we're working on it, we wanna come back and work on it later, or we can post it. So we're gonna post it. 
Now you'll notice the drop down uh, here. We can discard the draft if we want to just trash it. We don't want to do that. We want to post it. Okay. So um, your post has been added to your blog page, but it's not yet live because our site isn't published. So that's fine. All right, and now here's our blog page with our new blog post. And as you can see, we have the like button, we have the tweet button. All right, so people can like this post and or tweet it out, and that will get us hopefully more views as well. All right, so I'm going to turn the sidebar back on, and now we will see what our blog looks like with the sidebar on. Okay, so let's uh, go to save and edit. Okay, and now so here's our posts. Now we have archives because we've actually written a post and our post will appear in our archives. All right, so anytime you create a new blog post, it's going to appear on your blog page. Now, um, so they will go in order from newest to oldest. So every time you post a new post, it will appear at the top of your blog page. Now the last thing that I want to do is I want to see the comments. So if we click on comments down here, this is where any comments will appear. And comments will have to be approved by you because one of the things that happens is that oftentimes we get spam comments on our blog posts which are no good. We don't want spammy posts on our blog posts. So you will see your comments listed under here and you can approve, delete, or mark them as spam. All right. Any that you approve will appear live on your blog. Um, any that you delete will be gone forever and any that you mark as spam will be added to the spam folder right here. All right. So we have no comments yet. And when you approve comments, obviously this number here is going to change. So we will have one, five, ten, however many um, approved comments will be listed there. All right, now what I'm going to do next and finally is I'm going to rearrange the order. I want blog to go between our services and contact in the menu. So again, we click on pages. And all we have to do here is drag blog up between our services and contact. We're going to click save and edit. And now you will see that our blog menu item has been placed where we want it to go. Okay, so that is how easy it is to create a blog. And like I said, it's a very good idea. Um, it proves your authority on the subject. It can bring viewers and subscribers to your website and to your email list and it can lead to very good things for your business. So by all means, um, if you have even a modicum of writing skills, write a blog. Okay, it doesn't have to be 10,000 words each post. It can be, you know, 500 words or whatever on subjects relating to your website and it can be a very useful thing to have on your website. So that's how easy it is to add a blog to your Weebly website.